Okay guys, the rod father and myself out here at Stizzyville doing a little fishing. We just hooked up with a double. We got two different presentations going on. Jake's throwing the crankbait and he's got a nice three pounder right there. Two and a half, three. I'd say. Okay, three. good one. I got a little pound and a half, two right here. I'm doing the finesse presentation. We'll kind of show you if you guys want to. There's bye. We'll get a close up of Jake's. This is a nice one, but I'm just throwing a little rattling Ned. A little finesse jig. Jake's got a deeper diving crank. That's right. Here. And we're starting to hammer him a little we bit. Just kinda, we just got here. We've been here about 10 minutes. Here's a little release action for you guys. Oh, yeah. We caught quite a few crappie. I was throwing the six cents little imitation crappie, and we were catching crappie and bass. Mine, his was diving a little deeper, and he was getting more action. So I switched it up to a finesse jig this is on those new rods eric and jake got the six gill fishing ones and the rod and reel they have that bogo deal going on trying it out feels pretty good so far and we're gonna see we're gonna film we we're gonna put the gopros on gopros were dead so we're just doing a little bit from the phone but the water temp is 80 degrees we're fishing those deeper edges but crankbait seem to be the ticket right now like I said, 80 degree water, water, it's pretty hot out here. So they might be a little deeper or even suspended. So we're trying to troll a little further out and then we're catching them a, a little yeah. bit deeper. Working right on the drop offs. Yeah. So those feeding fish are probably coming up a little bit, hopefully hungry, but still staying in that cooler water. So we'll see. I got a feeling Jake's gonna pick one off this dock. So we're gonna film him a little bit and then I'll get back in there. But got a little Dubleve. That's our third double in like 15 minutes. We just got the boat on. So things are heating up. Of course, today the GoPros are dead. All right, Jake, no pressure. No, I, I feel no pressure at all. This uh, XD, what is that, Berkeley? Berkeley XD? Berkeley XD. It's like a 10 foot diver. I, I got to use this little bit bigger profile. I like throwing Salmos, little smaller crankbaits. This one's a little bit bigger, targeting bass and caught just many crappie, which is funny. <laughs> crappie are pretty, pretty hungry too. And the crappie here have been getting a little bigger. Yes, they We've have. caught some better sized ones today. That little pond maintenance work on Joel's is paying off. I like how this thing digs. You can really feel it working. When you have weeds, you can definitely tell, which is nice when you're trolling. If you have weeds and you don't see the back-to-back, -back, you can clear it off. Because nothing's worse than trolling around all day and you got weeds on your, on your lure and you don't even know it. All right. Guys, I'm going to get back to fishing. We'll tune back in with some fish, though. Set a timer, see how long it takes us. It is. I'll set a timer. Set a timer. What time is it? 11.06. 11.06. All right. Okay, okay, guys. It's at 2.40 on the stopwatch, and Alex strikes first. He's got a monster. Nothing to write home about, but that little Ned rig, the Guggen Ned rig with a little finesse jig, gets her done. Nice little one. So... We're out here catching. I took two minutes. I know. We're surprised too. Thought it'd be faster. I'm going to set another timer. We're setting another timer. Challenge begins now. Yeah. Oh. Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> We've had five fish in the last four minutes. Two of which have been in the boat. We just lost. He had a better one on. We just lost. I'll be quicker with the draw next time. Wait, I'm going to get another one. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, guys, we had 3.40 on the clock. I had this guy on and brought him up. I wish we had that on film. Oh this thing gosh. was this thing was tagging it, absolutely munching the heck out of this. He was trying to eat that bass that Jake brought in, hit it like three or four times and was just sitting there, and I just reeled in quick and dropped the little finesse Ned rig right And he by him. immediately smoked it. And he hammered it. I, if we had that on film, that'd be great. Oh, my gosh, I wish we would have. That's a nice three-pounder, nothing crazy. But yeah, he was trying to eat that eight inch bass as we were reeling it in. Nice thick one. Crazy. Get a release on this one. Do it. And there she goes. Ugh. I'm that setting it. That was sweet. That was awesome. Oh I'm my gosh. That's one of the days you need the GoPro on because that was, oh, that was cool. We, should, we never filmed the cool stuff. I'm setting the timer over right. and out. Give me one cast. I got a feeling. I'm one cast. Right now. Dude, that was awesome. We call this, this is Skull Island, guys. Um, okay, you know what? We just do better off camera. We're going to tune back in. That was crazy, though. 
Stay that tuned. Was awesome. That was. That was cool. Okay, guys. We got a decent on. one. On the little crappie crank. Are you going to weigh it? You got to weigh him. He's a okay. big dog. Man, nice fish. You're going to have to be quick. Four and a half. Five. Are you letting go with your other hand all the way? Hold on, he's not on yet. I'm just, that was my guess. Yeah, I was. Four, four. Nice. Get him one more time. On four, six. Dude, nice fish, man. All right, we got to get a release. Got to keep the big ones healthy. We're going to. Look at that big one. He is guys. a big boy, guys. Look at that. <laughs> oh, nice fish, dude. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's go. All right, we're still catching them. This is our first decent one in a while. A lot of small ones. It's getting hot. It's like one o'clock. So we've really slowed down, finesse jigging, and we're up here on the dike, the deepest spot where it goes from like five foot to 20 foot in like 10 yards. So we're just working that deeper, cooler water. Picking a few up. Jump? No jump, just back down to the base. There we go, stay tuned. All right, guys, we just caught that one probably two minutes ago. So we slowed it down and went to nest here for a while. But then, as you can see, like there's a Christmas tree right there and a bunch of suspended marks up above it we just went over. Gosh, Jake, this looks cool. I, I'm seeing it. We just saw Jake. We got Jake's sonar figured out and dialed in a little more, which is good. But, whoops, I didn't mean to touch it. Anyways, we were seeing just by the dike over there, we were seeing the same thing, a bunch of suspended marks. They look like bigger ones with schools. And then, so we decided to uh, start going back to crankbaits and just cast them suspended and rip through the water. And that's when we caught that big one. We are out of time. We are trolling back. Jake's going to see if he can pick up one last one. But I know we didn't get a bunch of hook sets today. But hopefully you guys got some pointers. That's kind of what we're looking at on the sonar, especially when it starts getting hot midday. It's 1.15 right now. And we slowed down, went to deeper water with finesse, and then got those few cranking suspended fish. But any last words, Jake? Can't catch them if you're not fishing. Can't catch them if you're not fishing. And they bite all day. Right. All right, guys. Till next time.